All right, so there's one other thing that I thought we could go through just real quick, and that is bobbin winding. So you just put your uh, thread on the spool pin, of course, and then it does th go through this thread guide, and then it goes through this uh, tension disc down here. Take your class 66 bobbin, and it's got um, holes on the top. You would just put your, if I put it through that little hole, this is always tricky for me. There we go. Okay, so it's on there going from the inside out. And then you would just put that on there. Make sure this lever is over, or just push it, which is what I do. And then you would make sure that the uh, hand wheel is disengaged. And then, there we go. And I just snip that off. And see, because I disengaged the uh, wheel, the needle is not moving up and down as it winds. There we go. So that is really, really easy. Another thing I like about this machine, believe me, I have some machines where trying to thread or uh, get the bobbin thread going is uh, not that easy. And one more thing I wanted to show you about this machine is I had a great time playing with it yesterday. Um, I sewed this little bag. I'm going to bring the camera over so you can see this. I made this um, little patchwork bag on this machine yesterday um, because I like to uh, test out every machine by actually sewing a project on it because that way you get to know its quirks, you get to know how it handles seams. Patchwork is a great way to test out that particular um, characteristic of the machine because it's got all these seams and this one did a great job of going over them. Um, so I made this little bag out of uh, some vintage feed sack scraps that I had um, and I put a little piece of uh, stamped twill tape on there. But anyway, this is going to come with your new machine and you can use it to store thread or your scissors or, you know, you can use it as a thread catcher bag if you want to like have a little convenient spot to throw away your threads. Oh, that's a good idea. I should think I need one of these for myself. Anyway, um, so that will come with your machine. And again, I made this bag on this exact machine and um, it is really cute and really versatile and hopefully you will enjoy it. So that is all I have for you today about this Singer uh, Model 348 from 1967. Um, beautiful Robin's Egg Blue. You are not going to want to put this machine in a closet when you're not using it. You're going to want to keep this baby out because it is so, so pretty. And hopefully you're going to sew with it so much that you won't have to put it away at all. So again, this machine is listed in my Etsy shop at upswingvintage.etsy.com and I hope to see you there. Thanks a lot. Bye.